Faith can be constrained by human factors. For instance, human conditions. Because we have all this merited mindset, you know. No. You have to be gifted first before you can lead a church, you know. You've got to study well before you can be used by God. Conditions, you know, that kind of thing. That kind of thing come. That's it. End of faith. Then <laughs> everyone will look to, so what do you have? What gift you have? What talent you have? Everyone look to this, okay? Please, this, these are things that constrain faith. Faith could be constrained by these things. Faith is being constrained by human performance. No. Oh. Do well, love God, be God-fearing, then you'll be blessed. No. The Bible don't put things this way. Because of the limitation of the English or human language, <laughs> we tend to study certain verses as conditional, performance or merited basis. For instance, if you're God-fearing, you'll be blessed. Now, strictly speaking, it shouldn't be put this way. Blessed are you who are God-fearing. If you are God-fearing, you are already blessed. You, you get what I mean? It's not as if, okay, God, I give you my God-fearing heart, and now you bless me with something. No, that's not God-fearing anymore. You get what I mean? For instance, I give you a few examples. People say, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things we add unto you. Now, condition basis. People read this verse that way. So I seek God's kingdom, you know, pray for people and do all these good things. No, God, how about me now? My turn. Reward me. No, that's not faith. Because the, the whole idea or the whole spirit of the verse is when you seek the kingdom and righteousness of God, in that itself, all your needs are realized. You will realize that all that you need has been given you and you could enjoy it. Why the next verse says, each day has its trouble on its own. Don't worry about tomorrow. Am I right? So each, each day, just live as the day and you will see enough grace. If you live for the kingdom, you will always enjoy your today. Okay? That's the spirit of the verse. So if you're going to talk about faith now and you put in human conditions, human performance, and even you know, human intelligence or human logic. Now, we, some of us are very good in this logical mindset. And uh, I am also. <laughs> so, now listen up. L now listen, faith is never without logic. But faith is more than logic. Amen to that? Amen to that? It cannot be constrained. Faith cannot be constrained by logic. If faith can be constrained by logic, then your logical intelligence is your God, not the God who created the heavens and earth out of nothing. You got what I mean? So while we can make logic out of His Word, I'm doing this now, all the time. That's the most I can do. But certain things, you got to go by imagination. When everything is just blank, nothing in this universe that God spoke, and everything was created. How can you make logic out of this? If you're too intelligent, you know, be careful if you're too logical. Be careful if you're too driven. <laughs> no, these are good things. Don't be, don't, 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 don't be afraid of that. But what I'm saying is you don't be overzealous or overlogical till you lose faith. Now, that is the line you must draw. When you have come to a point where what you know work against you, that is the part you're not exercising faith, you're exercising a logical mind. You get know what I mean? It will kill your faith. For instance, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Now, I believe, believe, believe what? Huh? What is the will of God? Huh? Don't anyhow say it. You know, no, don't say that. You know, if you believe, brother, don't worry. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for and pray. No, simple as that. Let the truth influence you in your anxiety. Am I right? For instance, God says, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, I have compassion on whom I have compassion. Now, some people read this, how can this be? You know, is this possible? There are human intervention or human response. That's why God showed mercy, you know. No, God says plainly, by my sovereignty, I have the absolute, ultimate free will and sovereignty to bless anyone and convict anyone, bring anyone to Him. Said compassion and mercy. 
even as I go deeper and deeper into the Word of God, I must be more foolish in terms of accepting God's sovereignty. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay? Be foolish in accepting God's sovereignty. You're not God. Everything comes from Him. And he, if He promised you, take in that promise. Even you have messed things up, and we come to that point, Lord, I've messed things up, but you are the gracious God. I believe your compassion and mercy. And I come to you now. Bless me once more. Now, and believe that He will show mercy. You see? Be foolish in that sense. What I'm saying is... Mm-hmm.